Hello, welcome to Photoshop, because if you're watching this tutorial, you're probably just starting Photoshop. So, let's just cut to the chase and get started. I'm going to be showing you all the stuff you have on this toolbar at the side, and just the stuff you're going to, the basics, you know, basic stuff you need. So, first we have the Move tool here, and here we have a picture of the game. And what does the Move tool do? Simple, moves pictures, moves things you have selected. There you go, I moved it. Shortcut V. Next, rectangular marquee tool. I'm not going to show you all of them because it does the same thing, just different shapes. Rectangular one. Um, I'm going to use the elliptical one. Shortcut M. And I'm going to choose his ear. Or we kind of have his ear selected. And you can kind of move this thing around. And then if you hit V and use the move tool, you can move his ear around. And the ear is lost now because my Photoshop's acting gay. There we go. Put his ear over his nose. Anyways, that's that. All the marquee tools are the same. Lasso, same thing. I'll take his eyeball out now. You just draw whatever you want to select. There I have his eye selected. If I hit V, and I can move his eye around. Perfect. There we go the poly polygonal I think that's what I said it's same thing except you click and drag up how much ever you want and you kinda of just click wherever you want there to be a point and you stop dragging them and you see a little circle that's you we're just gonna stop and just make the ants <coughs> right, excuse me Hit V, once again moving his ear around, we're just raping this guy's ear. So, alright. Mm -hmm. The magnetic one is kind of, it's like a combination of the two. It's, you just click and when you draw it just kind of snaps into place. And see how it's not snapping into place there? You can click to add a point, you know, manually. Otherwise it should just, it should just snap into place. Okay, I'm not, I'm not even doing anything now. Wand tool. It's used to select things that are like, it's going to select something that's one color. Everything of the same color, I guess. See, his hat's all gray, so it's going to select only the hat. It's not going to select the background because it's a different color. Now, if it's a similar color, it's going to select everything. Like, if I select this part of his face, it's going to select his hair, too. I, said, I know it's a different color, but it's really similar, so I'm just going to... I'm gonna just do this part of his coat. There we go. Simple as that. I selected everything because it's all similar colors. It's Control D to deselect, but I'm gonna leave it there. Crop tool is pretty much the same as these two. And this is crop this part. There we go. And you can. Well, what I do to I click perspective over here, and that just kind of it never works for me though. Here, I'll show you what it does do that now we just supposed to give you a picture of whatever you did in perspective but anyways next we have the eye drop tool click on whatever color and it chooses that color all right that's eye drop tool shortcut i brush shortcut b no the brush all right and clone stamp tool shortcut s yeah, okay, this is what it does. Let's hold down Alt and just click on this part of his hat. Now, let's start drawing somewhere. You see it makes a clone of it. Notice there's a little plus sign on the side. That's whatever you're drawing. There we go. That's that. And the history brush tool it's just like well it never works for me but it's supposed to erase <laughs> erase erase brush strokes but just mess around with that figure it out uh, shortcut y so it's, it's on the side eraser shortcut e there's that paint bucket you know paint bucket right fills in with whatever color you have selected and gradient 
I have a whole tutorial on the gradient, but I'm just going to show you what it does. I have a blue to white gradient selected, or I guess. Now I'm just going to choose this, this part of a suit again, shortcut G, and I'll do, I'm going to use a gradient on this, it's going to only do this part of the suit, because that's all I have selected. Maybe I can do this part of the suit, even shit out. It goes with a shirt now, huh? There you go, see? Now we have a gradient. That's what a gradient is. You can even make backgrounds with it, but hey, I'm not going to go that far into it. And that's, that's one way to use it, one tool, I guess. And we have the smudge tool. Okay, the blur tool. It blurs things. See, his face is looking blurry. And we have the sharpen tool. Makes things look sharper. You usually want to give it just like one or two strokes, because otherwise this is going to happen. Yeah, so I'll give it like one or two strokes. Look sharper. Three and four is gonna start getting messed up. All right. Oops. All right. Next up, we have the smudge tool, which smudges things. And there we go. It looks like his face, his face is getting flushed down the toilet. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm saying SH for everything, everything that has an S in it. This doesn't have a shortcut. This is shortcut O for a dodge tool. It takes whatever color there is and makes it lighter. But not by adding white. See, we're making his face a bit lighter now. This makes his face lighter. Alright. It doesn't look that fake either. Maybe if it was neck, it would look a little bit more real. Alright, and this ears that we raped earlier. And then there's a burn tool opposite of that. This makes things darker. See, it makes, keeps the sh same shade, but makes it darker. See, if we keep doing the top part, it gets darker. Alright, after that, we have the sponge tool, which kind of soaks up the color and desaturates the picture doesn't make it black and white but it comes close see how he has no color in his face kinda looks like a zombie if I if I do undo that you notice his color comes back pen tool you just click at a point wherever you put the second point it's gonna connect it like connect the dots bing bada bing bada boom wait for the circle and there we go we have a triangle Okay, next you have text. Text. You know. Oops. RJ. Yeah. I can just do that. And you can use the move tool to move it around. But, okay. And then there's this path selection tool kind of useless this just makes these shapes shortcut U whatever one you have selected if you make a choose a ellipse tool it's just a fancy ass word for circle or oval there we go and that's it these are the 3D tools but you don't need to get into that and then there's a the magnify tool zoom in kind of shortcut Z hold on alt click again to zoom out that's it. Comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, any suggestions for future tutorials, post a video response, or send me a message. King Tut out.